My love affair with photography actually really started when I was a child. Uh, my parents had old brownie cameras, uh, you know, that they used. Uh, Polaroids came out, I think, sometime in the 60s. And I was absolutely fascinated with the, the you know, the instantaneous image that would, that would appear. Um, so photography always held an interest to me. And then, like I said, in, this, in the early to mid-70s, when I had a chance to use my first 35 millimeter film camera, that's when I really fell in love with it, and, um, and I've been in love with it ever since. For the longest time, I was more of what I would call, I wouldn't say a snapshot shooter like most people. You know, they go out, they see something, they think that it's interesting, and they take a quick picture. Um, I would go out with thought, I would go out, try to shoot a landscape, I would try to shoot a scene, but the bottom line is the results were never what I had seen in the field, you know, say on a landscape shoot. Um, part of the issue was I didn't really know that much about it, so I was really just starting to learn, but the other issue was I had no, I had zero control after the shutter was released. There was no editing, there was no, I didn't have a dark room, so basically I had to live with whatever the the photo lab sent me, you know, in prints. And invariably, I was always disappointed, always disappointed. So for years, I tried to get better, I tried to improve. My photography skills, if you will, really didn't take off until starting about 2004, so about 12 years ago. And what happened was we were, um, it was a Sunday afternoon, I had my first laptop, and I had a, uh, I, I had bought my first digital camera, and one of my kids, I four kids, three girls and a boy. And one of my kids said, hey, by the way, Dad, did you know that you could uh, upload your photos to the internet? And I said, you can what? what do you, what's upload mean? You know, what, what's that? Well, they showed me what, and then I, re and then I discovered uh, websites where you could upload your photos, and a whole world began to open up. The editing process is actually a complete, completely separate love, if you will. I love being out in the field. I love going out to shoot a landscape, a sunset, a, you know, a, a sunrise, a calm, the water's glass calm, the reflections are beautiful, the colors are magnificent. But as fun and enjoyable as that is, the post-processing um, period is just as fun and exciting because it's a continuation of the creative uh, process. And you can take an image from a and literally bring it to Z. So what I do is really a marriage of I mean, what I would like to consider the perfect marriage of photo straight photography and then digital techniques to create the, the final pieces that I create. I, I shoot for me first. I have to like it. I have to be into the scene. I have to be, um, you know, I, I choose all of my locations naturally. And so I have to be into where I'm shooting. I have to be. I have to enjoy it. I have to love the piece. If I don't love the piece that I do create, nobody ever see, it never sees the light of day. Nobody ever sees it. I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of images on my hard drive. But uh, you know what? I have 17. I have 17 pieces of art in this show, and I have other great images. But the but the truth is, I have to like it. It has to, to me. It has to be top notch before I'll put it out there. In my mind, anyway, it has to be to, a top notch piece of work. Uh, please come to the show. It gives me great joy to know that, that others get pleasure out of viewing the work. I like to call it eye candy. To me, it's a, I, if if my work can be a distraction for a few moments from a troubled world, um, that's very satisfying to me for people to come in and look at it and just really enjoy it and to me that's that's great